Just a quick summary of why uh, high protein forage mixtures, um, the lupin triticale mixtures um, are a good idea for folk to try. Um, the, they are cheap and easy to grow, they don't get pests or disease. You put them in, you might under sow them and not spray them at all. Some people obviously give them a pre-emergent spray. But after that, really little or no input. Uh, low fertilizer requirement. So cheap, simple to grow. You can drill them with any old drill or even broadcast them. Uh, pretty much any soil type, any part of the UK. Uh, you can harvest them with any equipment, any existing silage gear, so you can drop them with a mower, pick them up uh, and, and chop them with an old forager, uh, you can, or even a new forager. Um, you can round bale them, you can ag bag them, you can uh, use a forage wagon, uh, you can use a direct chop forage, or any of those systems are fine. Either direct cut it or drop it with a mower and pick it back up again. So. What's really significant about these mixes is it's an opportunity for the UK livestock farmer, regardless of where he is, regardless of whether he's up in the hills at 1,200 feet up, many, many farmers are in situations where they cannot perhaps grow maize and they, they don't have the, the potential to diversify their forage system uh, and get away from this model of juices and grass silage and concentrate. Well, you can look at Lupin triticale as a whole crop mix. Use that existing silage gear. You do not need arable farming skills or arable farmer's equipment. You can be, uh, you can just have an old mower and a baler and Bob's your uncle, you're in business. Uh, you, you don't need any particular soil type. Um, cheap and easy to grow. We will show you how, we'll send you bulletins on the agronomy, what to look out for and so on. So you can grow this, forage it and produce a forage which is high in protein. You can displace your requirement for bought-in protein and therefore, you know, put the, put the economics of any livestock system, you know, back on, a, on an even footing because it is the bought-in feed costs which are really the biggest single cost for most livestock farmers at the moment. So give us a phone if we can help, uh, chat to us about any of these mixtures uh, and we'll give you guidance on, on what's most suitable for you and uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get you sorted out. Thanks very much. Bye.